so far down this path, um, well, other than back at the uh, houses back there, uh, it hasn't been too eventful. Uh, I did get some shots of a few birds picking on a dead rodent. Uh, this is Inglewood Bird Sanctuary. They were underwater. Um, they have a whole bunch of trails uh, through here, through this land, and a lot of migratory birds come and, you know, nest here, and, and it's really nice to see some of these uh, species. So hopefully they weren't too damaged, too badly damaged, and uh, and they get operational quick. I didn't even know there was a house over there. Gorgeous old brick house. And I didn't even know there was that was there. Don't know whose it is, but uh, boy, what a gorgeous location. Except for when it floods, if it flooded down this part. I would assume so because they are very close to the the bow is just really on the other side of the the ridge there so and there's uh, train tracks here that are very rarely used I just got cars parked here right now um, this is part of the Ogden line so we'll, I know I'm going the long way but we'll get down to the 25th F bridge, I think it's 25th F, which goes over Ogden Road, and I should be able to get the, some pretty good shots of the Bonnie Brook Bridge from uh, that part of town, and then I'll uh, head back, and gorgeous residence there. Been getting close to uh, Bonnie Brook Bridge now. Uh, this is still Inglewood Golf Course on the other side, and uh, where the Eagles are actually. I'm hoping to get back onto the other side. I just recognized being in there uh, earlier this year. Well, probably about two months ago actually. And uh, even back then, it started to uh, flood the. Uh, Water rose quite a bit in uh, about a week, week and a half, where we couldn't even get onto the island area over here to look for the eagles. And I don't see the eagles in their favorite trees today, um, but on this side, uh, yeah, you can see how high the water was again on the fence. And now I'm about six feet tall. This is my eye level here. So that's, yeah, that's just over six feet. And, you know, they've, uh, they've scraped off the, most of the mud. Uh, some of it is still remaining because it's still fairly wet uh, because of the shade from the trees. It hasn't dried out completely in some places. Some places such as here it has. But uh, yeah, it's just amazing seeing what uh, what the river did. The, the level of the river, the bow is still quite high. The the elbow is relaxed now, and I think that's uh, because of the dam control as well. That's on the elbow. And but hopefully the uh, the water level in the bow will reach the normal level which they said the other day it's almost at and yeah hopefully that'll be there soon and coming up to one of the train bridges up here so we'll see if they've got them, got it fixed over the last couple days or if they're working on it so by the Bonnie Brook Bridge you can see the uh, middle part of that kind of hanging down underneath the bridge and see the other part caved in in the middle. Uh, this is another one, the main line one, and uh, they've actually got this all blocked off here so I should probably get through there somehow 
and hopefully escape getting arrested or whatever. But, um, yeah, hopefully uh, everything's okay. I'm kind of walking on a cliff edge right now, which is kind of nerve-wracking, considering the damage it's done. But this wasn't on the other side, so I'm going to uh, go over, go through here and, yeah, go down the path a bit more and get some pictures of the bridge. This is a road underneath that bridge coming from the rail yards and uh, the path is just down or was just down this way this was a, a road which has now disappeared uh, because of the flooding and uh, yeah so there we go I don't know where I'm going right now I'm just trying to get to 25th Ave and I see 25th Ave, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get to 25th Ave on this current area. I'm trying to stay out of sight, because um, there's a lot of workers around, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I just don't want to, you know, cause any trouble or anything like that. I'm not causing trouble, but, you know. Oh, here's a good spot of the bridge. Well, wow, that's a really good spot for the bridge. So this is the uh, treatment plant, which was underwater, or flooded for a lot of it anyway. They still got pumpers there. Uh, this is the pathway that uh, leads from over by the bridge where I just came from. I'm hoping that I can hop into the middle and get some shots of the, uh, the Bonnie Brook Bridge a little better. And it's over there, you can see how it's collapsed. And they're cleaning up the pathway uh, down below. It's got washed out, as you can see, completely washed out underneath here. And again, they probably lost about another 15 feet of ground underneath this bridge. Yeah, so I'll see what I can get. See if I can hop into the middle. I'll be able to get some decent shots from there. So I've made it down to 50th Ave and uh, Ogden area. Got some shots of the uh, Bonnie Brook Bridge there. I didn't get into the middle of the road, a little too busy with traffic right now. Um, I'm going to try and just go up 50th here to the other side and uh, that way I can hop in at a max and get a Slurpee because I'm thirsty and I need to rehydrate a little bit. And uh, then walk down on the north side of the trail and then I'm going to head home because it's quite tiring and it's been about what is it about three hours now that I've been out so it could be about a five hour walk today somewhere in there but it looks like I have to Cross this road, uh, which I didn't really want to do, but I'll have to cross it to uh, get to the other side where the path is. It goes up there. So, wish me luck. So this is the uh, canal uh, that they let water off of the bow into uh, that I mentioned earlier. Um, they had let quite a bit in. Uh, it was about a quarter of the way up. I did find a, I believe it's called a cliff swallow, uh, or it's a swallow of some kind, a bird's nest up there, uh, probably was a baby in it right now, and yeah, so we'll see if I can get some shots of the eagles, uh, Bonnie Brook Bridge is just down there, so we'll see what I can uh, 
if we can get a better perspective on the Bonnie Brook Bridge. Although being right underneath it was kind of cool. I was kind of lucky that no one saw me down there, but, but uh, yeah, I didn't say I wasn't causing any trouble or anything, touching anything, so I don't think there would have been much of a problem. So this is uh, another pathway system on the other side, the bow uh, pathway which I was on before. That's on the other side of it, of uh, Ogden Road here. And, and this one goes into Inglewood on the north side, so Max Bellarina Memorial Drive area. But I really do have to get something to drink soon. So I'll probably do that when I get back to the 17th Avenue area uh, over on the east side. So I know there's co-op and stuff like that over there. So I'll, uh, and Sobeys and stuff. So I'll go have a look there but for some drink. But for now, we'll continue to walk down here. The Bonnie Brook Bridge is on the other side of this one here. Um, Alright, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Um, so over there is where I was taking the photos of the Bonnie Brook Bridge, and that's the trail I was walking on. So when I said I was walking on a cliff, yeah, I was. But it looks in pretty good shape, which is good. And that's the area they were cleaning up with the Bobcat um, when I was over there. So I'll go head down this way and see if I can see some of the Inglewood bald eagles and hopefully they'll, they're still here and they're just flying around. So the eagles aren't flying around. I don't see them, I don't hear them. So I'm not sure if they've uh, vacated the area now uh, after the flood or while the flood was going on um, because I'm sure it would have been a, quite a shock for them all that water and all the trees all the trees uh, falling down around them hopefully theirs stayed up should have because it was quite quite a thick one but uh, you know there were quite a lot of thick trees that were just washed away so but I am going to head up to 17th Ave here and get some much needed water or Gatorade or something like that because I really need some and uh, yeah I will call that an end to this part of the uh, post-flood documentation. I did want to add in this extra bit here. Um, this is Inglewood Golf Course. Or what's left of it. As you can see, it's basically part of the river now. And I do remember seeing a photograph of this road, actually, uh, that goes down to the clubhouse and everything. Uh, being flooded right at the bottom there Which makes sense considering the golf course is now part of the bow So I don't know and it's going to take a lot of money to rebuild that and Yeah, it looks like the uh, the river is carving a more natural uh, path every couple years Thanks for tuning in, everybody.